All right, you've said that you've wanted me to build a few more Funray projects, so here they are. Just having a look, what project am I going to build today? Let's see. I did the continuity tester before. Um, see my introductory video if you haven't, that describes a bit more of what Funray One is all about. Number two, transistor tester. Um, it's just an LED thing, water indicator. I think we want something more exciting with sound. So, how about Project 11, a sound effects generator. There's the circuit, two transistors, an LED, a speaker, and a few other bits and pieces. First thing I've got to do is cut out the template. Next thing is the parts. Now I've just finished putting in all the 18 screws, so next thing is to mount the parts. The thing I have to be careful of is that that's the base. Normally in a circuit diagram you'd expect the emitter down here, but for this particular transistor, emitters up here so usually it's collector base emitter so the transistor is going to be this way Here they recommend using insulated wire, but I'll just, because it's a long piece, I'll just use the bare wire and allow uh, enough clearance. I find it sometimes easier to screw screws down, even though not all the wires you need are under them, and then unscrew them back again, and then screw them back down. The moment of truth has arrived. Will it work? It's not very loud, but yes it does. And we'll just adjust the potentiometer. What sounds does it claim? It claims a putt putt boat, speed boat, water drops, heartbeat monitoring, grandfather clock, and even a cricket. Mm. 
maximum resistance. Just moisten my finger and put it across the part. The book suggests using the light dependent resistor. So with the light dependent resistor, Now in the darkness, it's very high resistance. So now it's more like a grandfather clock, as they say. What about this box that the speaker came in? What about in complete darkness? I've got this metal box. Now it's possibly hard to hear, but that sounds like a dripping tap. Just remove the lid slightly, see if I can allow a little bit of light. And it's now a bit more frequent. Now, you might be able to get some even more interesting effects if the size of the box happens to form a resonant cavity with the audio pitch generated. <laughs> 